guys, I'm Dabi and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. I've been really hesitating to do this video because I really didn't know if I should do this video or if I want to do this video. But since a lot of you guys have asked for it, I'm going to be showing it to you guys. So if you want to see how I edit my Instagram pictures, then just keep watching. Okay, so when you get into my phone, I have this folder that says C and it's full of uh, photo apps. And But I don't use all of these. I just use Lightroom, Photoshop, P2, and PixArt the most. Yeah. Oh, and Snapseed. Uh, I only use Snapseed sometimes if it's needed, but I use Lightroom and P2 the most. I'm going to show you guys how I edit my selfies and how I edit the photos that were taken of me using the back camera and the front camera. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how I add something on the picture because I posted this picture on Instagram and a lot of you guys asked me how I edited it. So I'm going to show you that. So if you want to see that, then wait until the end of the video. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how I edit using Lightroom. So we go into Lightroom and then there's usually this places, these folders, but I made a folder called edit so I could just pick out the photos I wanna edit. So this photo, I'm going to edit this photo which was taken with my back camera and as you could see, like the water looks very dead. And it doesn't look that bright, so let's fix that. So in Lightroom, you just really have to play with it, I guess. So like in the light, you just have to you just have to choose what's best for it, what what you think is best for your photo. So in with exposure, just gonna give it like maybe 30. 30. Okay, 32. And then we're gonna go with contrast. This is like how dark you want it to be. And we're gonna pull that down. Gonna make it 20. And then highlights. We're gonna lower that highlight, 70. And the shadows. Hmm. Let's make that 10. And then this is the whiteness of the picture. Then lower that and then make the black high and that's 20. And then we're gonna move on to the color. I, I really don't know about the other stuffs. I just use light and color most of the time. Sometimes I use detail too but usually I use light and color. And then we're going to fix the temperature. I'm gonna make it a little blue. So 5. And then the tip, but I don't really add tip, so let's just leave that zero. And the vibrance, so we're gonna fix the vibrant vibrance of the color. We're gonna make that twenty, okay. And then we're gonna go to this this mix color right here. Gonna click on it, and then there's these colors that you want to make it more shown in the picture, I believe. Let's click on the blue one. I'm gonna make that oh the sky. Okay, gonna make that lighter. You see that? You see the difference guys? Of course you see it. Okay. So gonna make that and then here. You can change the color. <laughs> Even my shorts turn purple. <laughs> We're gonna leave that zero. And the sky blue. Oh you see the, the color of the ocean changing? We're gonna make that bright, so let's make it at 65 and the hue too. Let's make that a bit okay. So yeah, that's it. Like so this is the so this is the difference before and after. Do you see how how it got so much brighter and so much color in it? So yeah, that's basically how I edit my pictures in Lightroom. 
Okay, I'm going to show you guys another photo and it's this one. It's already light enough but I want to make it more. I want to make it more lighter. So I'm going to add this exposure 65 and then lower the contrast. Highlight. Just you, you just really have to toy with it like what you think looks better. Maybe I'm going to bring that down to 15. Shadows. 10. And the whiteness. Let's lower that to 20. And the black. The blackness. So the darkness. Let's make that 15. And then we're going to the color and just make it vibrant. So let's make that 35. And then we're gonna add some tint to it because I don't like this yellow tint. So we're gonna add some pink on it, 10. And then temperature minus two. So this is how it looks like before and after. Now I'm going to show you guys how I edit my selfies using the app P2. I believe this is a Chinese app but I think it's really nice because to photoshop your face. Yes guys, I photoshop my face a lot. Not a lot but sometimes if I think that it's if I, if I feel like something's off then I'm going to edit it. So you just choose a photo and I'm going to be using this photo that I took earlier and we're going to click on the remodeling like, and you could just really toy with this as well like you see that but I usually don't use that one I usually like fix my jawline or my chin area I'm gonna make it smaller 30 can you see that and then Usually, I go for my nose. I edit my nose a lot because I really don't like it. So, using the bridge, I'm gonna make it smaller. Maybe until 45. Do you see that? My nose, how my nose got thinner. And then we're gonna make it thin. Six, maybe. Okay, so this is how it is now. And sometimes, sometimes. I like to make my lips a bit bigger because you see how thin my upper lips is. So we're gonna make that thicker. Like, you see that? <laughs> to this. Just, just a little bit, maybe like 20. Like that. And then I'm gonna, gonna make it wider. And the smile. <laughs> that looks so creepy. And the lips. <laughs> I look sad. Okay, just maybe a little bit there. Oh no, wait, that looks weird. Okay, we're gonna remove the wait no. Okay, so that's it. Yes, and then so we're done with remodeling our face. <laughs> now we're gonna go on and click on the makeup. And I don't really do anything in here. I just really use this silkworm. Silkworm. And this is the area here because that's Korean makeup style. We're gonna. Do you see that? But we're just gonna make it a little bit. Maybe like 30. Oh no, maybe let's make it 40. Do you guys see it? There. And it looks really natural. And then we're gonna go ahead on the eyelash. I think I have eyelash, but then it's not shown on the photos. So I'm going I'm just gonna edit that and just put an eyelash. I really use nat number nine or eleven the most if I want it like soft and natural then I'm gonna use 11 but if I want my eyes to pop eyelash I'm gonna use 9 so in here I'm gonna use 9 and then we're just gonna adjust the eyelash and just bring it down like that there and on the other side just make it fit your eye
And so yeah, do you see it? So that's basically it. Like this is the before and after. Do you see it guys? So this is how I edit my selfies. <laughs> just like that. And then you just save it. And then you're done. Okay, now we're going to edit the picture you guys have been waiting for. So I'm going to show you guys how I turn this photo into this one. Do you guys see the difference there? Exactly, the curtain. Because my room doesn't have a curtain because I think I don't need a curtain because there's no sunlight in here. That's why I really don't think I need one. But then for the photos, I need one of course because it looks very dirty and not nice. So I added a curtain to make it look better. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that one. Okay, so the first step in here is I'm going to use this Snapseed. Okay, I'm gonna go into Snapseed and I already have the curtain photo right here. And then we're gonna click on the tools. And then we're gonna click on the perspective. Because if you see in this photo, it's like a bit side, I believe, or like it's a bit sideways or slanted. So we're gonna move that photo and just make it like that. We're just gonna push it on the side like that. Do you guys see it? So from this, from this to this. Okay, so now that we modified that photo, now the exciting part we're going to head on to pix art and we have the photo right here and then we're gonna click on the add photo just click that and then we're gonna go to the snapseed and then get the photo that you edited and then oh wait, wait hold on and then you're gonna make it big cover the picture frame like that and then we're going to click on that photo and then we're going to click on the eraser on the top. Click that and then just erase it like where you don't want the photo to be in. Okay, so like that. And then we're going to click on the paintbrush on the bottom right here. And then zoom on the photo and just paint it back again. But you have to be careful. Here, just color it. We'll just paint it. And there you have it and then just click on the check that you're done and then apply Ta -da! that's it that's basically it guys so that's how i added my fake curtains in my photo so yeah that's really it it's pretty simple right and then just download the photo and then you're done yay that's it guys so that was how i edited my instagram pictures so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye